And how is everybody doing today? This is a beautiful Sunday morning here in Southwest Florida. Uh, I'm going to go live with you motherfuckers for a little bit. And then I am going to go to the gym with the wife. Today is our, uh, since we've changed my training up, I'm actually going to be doing some actual gym training instead of just the TRX and dumbbells that I've been doing. Uh, and we're and then we're going to chill out for the rest of the day, probably prep some food. I prepped a little bit of food yesterday, uh, preparing for the week. And then, uh, we'll do some client work and stuff like that. Speaking of that, I wanted to tell everybody, by the way, we are accepting clients. This is our specials for our, uh, our coaching for, uh, Labor Day and tomorrow I'll be having a special offer also. So please do check that out, but there will be very, it'll be, it'll be for, uh, six months and for uh, longer, but you will need to uh, be on the live tomorrow. It will only be offered during the live tomorrow, and I will be live tomorrow, um, probably at normal time. Probably at normal time. I got like a piece of dead skin right there, something like that. Drive me crazy. Anyway, um, and also uh, we still do have some uh, some alchemy in stock from the extra restock, but here is this. And this is where also you can get the Holy Trinity bundle. Uh, the Holy Trinity bundle bundle is uh, to me, uh, it's worked unbelievably. I started actually adding Ember the last uh, couple days. Uh, now that I have all of Alchemy and uh, and on no morbidity, just amazing. I'm j- I'm just I'm sh- I'm just absolutely not hungry at all tons of energy and like yesterday like i'm going to have to increase like i'm gonna to have to purposefully make sure i get my calories in uh my hair bothered me today no i had a piece of dead skin right there i i shaved it off yesterday i cannot wait to, I, I wish it would just all fall out and not fall down to my ears and back of course like i just wish it would all fall out you know but lisa how are you uh savar nick andy uh to end you, uh, I guess, uh, Amit, how are you doing? Cactus Pat, Slash to Kin, Soycast. Interesting. Uh, Frank, Eloise, Claudia, Janet, Jack Batman, Space Shuttle Door Gunner. Everybody's in the chat. How are you doing? It's good to, good to see you. Good to see you. By the way, here's where you can get the month to month coaching. Please do check out, check that out. Uh, ordered no morbidity and alchemy on Friday. Arrived yesterday. Warehouses uh, it shipped from was local, though. That's outstanding. We had people get it like the day after they ordered it. Just crazy. Just amazing. Like, like, I'm so impressed with how they do that. Hey, everyone. Not uh, not to start uh, this on a bad note, but uh, yeah, Jimmy Buffett did pass away. Very, very, very horrible. I've watched Jimmy Buffett in concert several times uh, live. Uh, several, several times. Many, 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 many years ago. And he was, he was a good performer live. I had a good time. Um, does alchemy help with late night cravings that I always get? If you, uh, if you take it. Yeah. Uh, like I don't, I'm, I'm used to having like an evening snack and it's normally been like some sort of protein, obviously, and everything like that. And something that tastes sweet, like normally berries with some protein powder sprinkled on it. And the last two nights I really haven't felt like eating after, after my, my, I mean, it's been one, one meal. Uh, yesterday I had to make sure that I got a little bit of extra protein in me because, uh, yesterday we did like kind of like cheese waffle pizzas. Um, and that's not that much protein. And that's literally all I ate yesterday. So, uh, so I ate some ham later on and like, I made, I like thought about it and made myself eat some ham. So I'm very, very, very impressed. And the way I'm doing this, by the way, this is how I'm taking this. Uh, I'm taking, and I already took this, I took a half tablet of this about two hours ago, right? I'll take another half tablet of this right before we head to the gym when I'm done talking to you folks. Um, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to take that half tablet with my first dose of alchemy. And then uh, a little later on, I will take but, but probably about 45 minutes before we eat our big meal. I will take no morbidity and alchemy together. And I'm just not hungry after that. I mean, I'm just I'm tons of energy, not hungry. Uh, literally seen physical change in my leanness in the last couple of days. Uh, kind of crazy. But uh Got your three bottles of alchemy yesterday, Mr. Pete. That is amazing. Make sure to take it consistently and, you know, make sure you're hydrating really well, which reminds me, I'm a little behind on hydration. A little behind. All right. So, 
keep moving and eating one ingredient food items. I, I love that. That's that's good advice right there, Emma. Thank you very much to everybody. Uh, he's enjoying that cheeseburger in paradise now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Uh, Alan, that ex post uh, with the guy simping for unhealthy bodies, like it's insane, dude. We're about to talk. About, that's one of the things we're going to talk about right now. I'm going to answer these last two questions, and then we will we will get to what I, what I want to talk about. Okay. Uh, need to make family bundles. Um, what do you mean by that? Like family bundles for coaching? Because if you want a family bundle for coaching, we can talk for real. Send me a message. We 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 do we do a couple we do a couples bundle and like stuff like that, but we don't advertise it. So if you want a family bundle for coaching, uh, Spatial Door Gunner, you let me know, and we will work something out today. You know, and it's for real because we're running a special tomorrow, so it's got to be today. But so send me a message, Spatial. Uh, sp send me a message, dude, on uh, either Twitter or on uh, Instagram. I'm feeling pretty amped on uh, on alchemy. Is that normal? Uh, I still, uh, I seem to have more energy. I have a ton more energy on it and it is very normal. And it's not like the cool part about it is it's not jittery energy. It's just your body's metabolism working the way it's supposed to. I think it processes the energy processes your body's energy much more efficiently. I feel I, I, I have felt that also. Um, I, I have felt that, you know, uh, uh, that my workouts have been like all go. Like I, I have much more, like, seems like I have much more energy and endurance during them. But also, I just feel like my body is processing energy much, 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 much better. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm very, 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 very happy with it. With it, I really, really, really am. Um, can I take alchemy in the morning and afternoon? Dinner is my smallest meal. You can. Uh, I do suggest you just, when you pick these things, you take them consistently for a little while and see how it works for you. I used to take no morbidity in the morning uh, until I started taking ember in the morning, you know, and... When I stop taking Ember, because I'm probably going to take Ember for, for about two months um, in the mornings and in midday, and then I will switch it back, probably. Uh, let's see. It surprised me how uh, it, it surprised me just how much alchemy worked for the very first dose. Love this stuff. Legit. That is what I'm saying. It's, it shocked me, too, especially because, you know, in my mind, no morbidity, no morbidity takes a couple of days to build up in my system. Like when I go off it for a week every six months or so, uh, so I don't build up the... Uh, a tolerance to ashwagandha. Like it takes a couple of days to get back in my system, I feel, you know, but God damn, like, I mean, alchemy is just like that. It just works immediately. Uh, I thought I was supposed to take no morbidity after my, uh, after my last meal only. Not only. I mean, I, I've, I've taken it in the mornings for a long time. So uh, chalk on my body. You should take it consistently the same time of day, every single day. Some people take it later in the evening because it help, helps them uh, relax a little better. Other people, tend to uh, take it in the morning. Like I used to take it in the morning just because it helped me with my hunger all day long and I was pretty relaxed already. So my body bottle of alchemy is coming up fifth. That is outstanding to hear. Uh, for the subs, got my fill in on Nomo. Um, um, let me talk to them. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Uh, down 40 pounds in the past three years uh, using Nomo to lose my last 10 vanity. Boom, that's good. Thank you very much. And great job on being down 40 pounds. Uh, and Mary Fran isn't doing well lately. So here's, here, we're going to talk about this. Okay. I have said this for a long, long, long time. Uh, one more, one more here. Uh, do you ship to the UK? Yes, we, we ship to the UK via Tiger Fitness and I, and I believe Vitamin Shop does too, but it'll be at Tiger Fitness before too long. Okay. Um, thank you, Alan. Uh, this is a game changer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Like I really do. I have tons more energy, tons more energy. It's crazy, you know, and which product would be the best to get rid of the last 15 pounds of tummy fat uh, that has been stubborn for the last four years? Andrea, I would suggest a combination of, of, uh, of, uh, of alchemy and no morbidity. You know, keep your hunger low. Alchemy will help your body process, process through stuff, keeps your blood sugar, uh, blood sugars level. Um, it helps with glycemic response, but it also helps with insulin sensitivity. So your body actually uses the nutrients that you ingest already more efficiently. And I do, like I said, I believe, uh, I believe it helps. It's helped with my fat loss, just in that my body is processing energy better. You know, like I, I, I'm just impressed. 
and it keeps your energy energy high. Like that's one of the things that I had been noticing too before, before uh, when I was off of alchemy for a little bit. If I would get really hungry, like like, and I mean, I don't feel physical hunger, but like all of a sudden, I like, if I get shaky, that's how I know I'm like, oh shit, I need to eat, right? I, my body just doesn't seem to do that anymore. My body just seems to keep producing energy, so it's crazy. Um, is uh, Alchemy at the Vitamin Shop yet? No, but I do have a call with Sean and Mark, I believe, this week to, to find out when all that stuff is going on because we have a bunch. We have a bunch of stuff going on coming up here. A bunch, 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 bunch. But here we go. We are going to talk about Mary Fran today. Now, I have made videos on Mary Fran. I believe Mary Fran is, kind of is like a, a fake crier, and uh, she's heavily, heavily protected by the audience on TikTok. Like heavily, 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 heavily uh, pr protected by the audience on TikTok. But her audience is the problem. You, uh, those of you that are going to show up here and be really upset because uh, this incredibly obese woman uh, is in complete denial of her situation. You guys are killing her. I'm, I'm just, you guys are absolutely 100% killing her. We're going to look at some of the comments on some of her videos. Um, it's tragic, like tragic, tragic. Recently, and I finally found out what was going on because uh, I did a video on her, I think this past week, where she was fake crying because that was fake crying. You guys got to know it. Like it's the fake sobbing and stuff like that, right? Um, she made a video that we're, we're going to also show of her saying that she is sexy and she is, you know, glorifying obesity. I don't care if it's a joke. That's not a funny joke. Mary Fran, um, you're glorifying a very unhealthy state. You yourself admit you're unhealthy. Um, it's kind of horrible for you to do so. Uh, it's to, if you want to glorify being fat as fuck and unhealthy, there's no glory in that. And we know it like this woman's all, not even 30 years old from what I understand. Like she's never going to make it to my age ever. And to her friends, family, uh, the, per the person she says cares about her and loves her body. Why do you want her to die early if you care about her so much? Like, why don't you want her to live a long time? Like, you don't actually care about her. I, I have had this thing, like, these people that support these people, it's like the pe same people that support April Lauren. They want to feel good about themselves by saying, no, you're great. Like, ha, ah, I told her she's awesome. She's going to like me. She, I did a good thing. No, you did a bad thing, right? Because she knows you wouldn't have to constantly be reaffirming this woman that she is okay if she was actually okay. You, you, would, you wouldn't be, right? So we're going to take a look at a few things here. This is a, a video somebody sent me from a while back. Um, this is Mary Fran, and I, I forget forget how, how, how old this video is. But um, give me one second. Uh, <clears throat> let me load my stuff up here. So this is, uh, I think from this past year at some point in time, but somebody sent it to me and I thought it was pretty relevant. Uh, so we're going to listen. If it'll load. Hmm. And I thought, hmm. what's going on here? At least five people I know have gone on diabetes shots in the past two months. I can't help but be concerned. It's the wave of type 2 diabetes that's coming is going to be biblical. It's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, but let's get let's see what, what, why this isn't working here for me. Oh, that's us. Hey, what's up, us? We're going to share that. Um, 
And here it is. And I thought. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's happening. Maybe I can find it on her thing. Give me one second. Give me one second, guys. Hey, when this stuff doesn't work out well. You know, and here's the thing. I'm sure, she, I mean, I don't have anything to say to, about negative about this woman besides the fact that she is very delusional. Um, and with this thing that I find scary is she's a school teacher. Like, that's this crazy portion of this. The fake positivity, the fake, every, all that stuff. I just don't think that that has a place because you can't tell me that this is like being, being this is her whole ass personality. You know, it really is. It's 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 the everything that she is, uh, basically because she gets paid to act this way too. Just you know, she does. Um, and where is it at? I'm looking for it. Looking for it. Looking for it. Looking for it. Oh, here it is. Man, it's like my internet is having a hard time here. Stop the sh screen share. Okay, let's see about doing this. Let's see if I can shut some other stuff down here. Close windows. Close windows. Close window. Close window. Close window. Close window. And all right. Here we are. Yep. So I went to the doctor yesterday and I thought I don't know what's going on. So give me one second to take a look at this. Because I got an idea. Okay. Hang on a second. I think I got it now. Let's do this yesterday she went to the doctor I yesterday it's gonna be a safe space and it really wasn't and it really really fucked with my head so first of all i don't why would a doc why would a doctor's office be a safe space for you and what i'm i'm sorry but be strong enough that you don't need a safe space like the safe space thing the whole inception of that has fucked society so hard i can't even get over it um I, 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 I wish that we could go back and, and point out how unhealthy that's going to be for society, but we cannot, but here we go. And I'm still kind of reeling from it. Still kind of reeling. And by the way, it's like, there is 10 video. There's always like 10 videos of her being super positive and I love how I look and I'm beautiful and I'm gorgeous and obesity is cool and all that bullshit, all that fucking crazy denial bullshit. And then there's a video like this, right? Um, because I left it feeling the classic feelings of a bigger body when you go to the of a bigger body. You're fat. You're obese. You're not a bigger body. You're huge. You have to get in reality. Like you have to get there. The doctor. <laughs> the fake cry thing too. She does that real well. She's got that on cue, for real. I, I I'm you know I love how she's able to edit video uh, during full, full sob. Like she's so upset, she's able to film. I felt stupid. I felt blamed. I felt like you felt blamed. Like the scapegoat. I felt like the scapegoat. Like I walked in and explained how much pain I'm physically in. Of course, you're in pain. 
400 pound people are normally in pain, especially women, you know, and she does have PCOS. Absolutely. To those, to those people that are going to be like, well, she's got PCOS. Yes. PCOS is actually a reason to take your health way more seriously. PCOS is actually a reason to assure your nutrition and your daily activity to not eat inflammatory foods. She eats a lot of calories. Nobody can tell me she doesn't <clears throat> because she is huge. This isn't 20 extra pounds that oftentimes come, you know, makes it harder for women with PCOS because it can change her basal metabolic rate. She eats thousands of calories more than what she needs in a day to sustain this size. She's huge, 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 um, huge, huge. And I was literally told that it was my fucking fault. Look. Well, whose fault is it? If it's not your fault, whose fault is it that you're this big? I mean, at, at, at some point in time, personal responsibility has to come into this, right? And here's the thing. I think that she, you know, basically, I, I, I think that she's got problems with being accountable to herself. And I think that this woman here, uh, if she doesn't get there faster, if she does not find a way, uh, can I turn my mic up? I'll try. Give me a second. No, my, my mic is on. Uh, hang on. How about that? There we go. I'll turn it up a little higher. We'll do what we can. But Sterling, thank you. Uh, but we, this woman has to be like, has to start living in reality is what I'm saying. And just like her and all of the, all of these people, like she's literally making an excuse here. Like you, you feel blamed. Who else is to blame? You eat consistent. Like you hurt yourself every day with the food you eat. And even like people be, and the, the same thing with the people saying, well, maybe she doesn't like, you know, the, it's harder for her. Yeah, I'm not saying that it doesn't harder for some people. I mean, you don't think it's harder for people with binge eating disorder, which she, I bet you she has. Uh, and she just does want to, she wants to be able to binge and make excuses for it. It's harder for people. Like I'm a binge eater. It's harder. It's absolutely harder because you have obstacles in your way that you then need to deal with, right? But her audience, the people supposedly that care about her, you guys are a huge portion of this fucking problem because instead of offering help and solution to her, and this happens with all of their, all of their audiences, uh, especially on TikTok, like they like they're they're told they're awesome and they're every they're, they're so good and everything like that. Like it's really fucking tragic, you know. Like the the virtue virtue signaling is super 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 tragic because it eventually hurts people, right? Like you selfishly lying to somebody's face so you can feel better about what you say to them by not hurting their fifis about telling them the truth. That is super selfish, super, just super damaging to these people. Because you can say that they're fine just the way they are. She's not fine. She's clearly in a lot of pain. She's going to be in a lot of pain. And Mary friend, that's not going to get better. You know what's going to make your pain better? Losing some weight, changing your lifestyle, like not eating the way you're eating. Like if she did like people, if she just changed the way she ate, if she only ate whole foods and stuff like that, because you don't get that big without eating a bunch of processed food. You don't, you don't get that big without eating a bunch of processed food. Even with PCOS, if you just changed how you ate and changed your lifestyle habits, you would feel better because your inflammation would be lower, but it would in fact make you lose weight too. Like a hundred percent. And PCOS symptoms are exacerbated by being morbidly obese. It is biological fact. Being in an inflammatory state, eating a bunch of carbohydrates, eating things that are going to spike your insulin when you're likely insulin resistant from having PCOS is moronic. Like people should be begging her not to eat not to eat processed carbohydrates. People should be begging her not to eat processed sugar. If your audience cared about you, Mary friend, they would be begging you not to eat the things that are going to cause problems with your insulin resistance from your PCOS. This is this is reality. This is not me. This is not me being harsh on you. This is me telling you the truth. I I don't lie to people. 
I'm not going to lie to your face and tell you you're fine. You are not fine. You are not going to live a long time. This is going to be painful. It's going to result in very serious, uh, you know, emotional and physical distress. The next 20 years of your life are not going to be fun if you don't change this. It's not. They're not going to be fun. They're going to be very demeaning. It's going to be very, um, very painful. And you're just not going to, and it's not going to be a good time. It's going to end up with your untimely, very early death, you know, because you're too image, like in the, the image, I always say this all the time. It is, you know, also shown that being fat for an inordinate amount of time, eating a bunch of ultra processed foods, uh, affects executive function, of the brain, maturity levels, cognition, uh, you know, self-awareness. And th she's like the literal example of these things. Like she sounds like a child and she's a teacher. It's very, very bad. So let's continue to listen. Clearly I had therapy and I impacted with my therapist. Well, doctors are supposed to be analytical and provide solutions to the problem. Yes. So the solution to the problem, uh, analytically, your doctor looked at you and said, holy shit, you're huge. Um, and you're in pain, losing weight, watching what you eat, changing your lifestyle habits will in fact help with your pain. Um, and you are the one that is in charge of your lifestyle habits. Like that's analytical and that is offering a solution. What did you expect? I mean, what, what did you expect? I find this to be egregiously ridiculous. What did you actually expect was going to happen? You know, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like what it's super tragic, super. I don't understand. <laughs> I have um, to bet. The, the fake cry. I, I'm sorry. That's a fake cry. Like, like, watch this. Let me hit start on the record. I don't understand. <laughs> I have to. First of all, don't put this shit on the internet. Like, I mean, secondly, like, get off the internet. This woman needs to be off the internet. She's not going to, though, because she makes a lot of money on TikTok. Reality. Uh, TikTok is paying her for these unhealthy behaviors. The bag to be seen as a human being in a doctor's office. You, you, you were seen as a human being in a doctor's office. The doctor told you their analytical, obvious, like very clearly obvious, like opinion, medical opinion, that you eat too much, that your lifestyle habits are poor, lose weight. Your doctor did, did treat you like a human. Your doctor treated you like more of a human then your audience treats you like, because your audience treats you like you are not human. Your audience treats you like you do not actually have to you know, suffer from the laws of gravity on the massive amount of extra mass you have. Your audience treats you like you are going to be immortal and you are not going to actually develop all sorts of other chronic illnesses because in fact, if you already have PCOS, which she absolutely does because the beard never that. But and she, how she carries her weight, she has higher than normal level androgen levels. She has insulin resistance. If you're insulin resistant, you should be watching like meticulously. Women, women, if you have PCOS, you should meticulously be watching your nutrition. You should be eating very low inflammatory and you should be eating almost no processed carbohydrates at all. And even starchy carb starchy vegetables, you should eat and you know, at like in only with associated fiber, and you should keep kind of to a minimum. I know that doesn't. I know that that's not the popular thing to say, but PCOS is a real thing. It does cause real insulin resistance. It does cause real higher than normal androgen levels, and because of the insulin resistance, you should be way more particular about what you eat and how you eat and the activity you get. Uh, I mean, this woman. This woman. We did a video on her not too long ago where she couldn't muster up the energy or the courage to go for a 20 minute walk for like a week and a half. Like she should be getting activity every single day. People should be encouraging her to get her activity every single day. People should be encouraging her to watch what she eats every single day. Because if you really care about this woman, you will recognize that she is in fact in very serious physical jeopardy. She is, she is, it is, if she does not change, it is not an if, it is a matter of when type 2 diabetes enters the room, if it already has, unless it already has. 
It is not a matter of if, it is when cardiovascular disease enters the room. She absolutely likely has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. You know, and the like the insulin resistance alone puts her in a pre-diabetes range. It's horrible. I mean, horrible, horrible, horrible. Listen to what she says. And made to feel like I'm the fucking problem. <laughs> you are the problem, though. You are the problem. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You are, your lifestyle, your your actions are the problem, Mary Fran. I, I, I know that this isn't like what she wants to hear, but people don't need to always hear what they want to hear. That is the virtue signaling bullshit that is going to cause the downfall of our society. Telling somebody what they want to hear when it's not the truth is just horrible. It is absolutely the meanest thing. I get called, the, the, I, I have t-shirts that say mean, nasty motherfucker on them, but this is me being ex way nicer to you than the audience that we are going to go watch you be like, like how they gaslight you. It is just disgusting. These people are fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's so pathetic. It's just patheticness, you know? Um, but listen to this. Being in a doctor's office and made to feel like I'm the fucking problem. Just because Again, you I are. have a belly. Just because you have a belly. You don't just have a belly, Mary Fran. I know it's like talking to a child. It's like talking to a toddler because that's where her men like that's how mentally stunted she is because of her obesity and the gaslighting she gets from her audience. I swear. But you don't just have a belly. You are in fact enormous. You're huge. You do this to yourself. You have options. This is not that nobody is predestined to be this big. If nobody is predestined to be this big, nobody, nobody. This is horrible. I mean, just because you have a belly, just because you have a belly, you. When I'm already. Look at the knuckles. Give me a second. Look at the knuckles. Look at the neck. The extra roll on the arm. This is not just a belly. This is that you are in very serious physical jeopardy. Feeling vulnerable. I don't want to have to go to a doctor's office and feel like a piece of shit and then I'm to blame. So you are to blame. That doesn't mean you're a piece of shit. That means that the doctor's trying to tell you what you can do to change it. Um, but when are you not feeling vulnerable? When can, when is the opportune time to tell you the truth? When? When is the opportune time to be told the truth? I, I don't I don't get it. Like you can, like this this woman wants to play it both ways. This I, I'm, it, it's manipulative. Man, she is a manipulative like a child, and her audience is right back at her with it. Watch this. Here we go. I am very fat and very fat. just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am a hundred percent glorifying obesity. Just okay, so that video right there, a young woman who I don't even know her content. She goes by mom on TikTok. She pretty much uh, you know went at her like I would. You know, basically, because that's bullshit. You're glorifying obesity. What's glorious about your life? You're little, you cry every other video, right? So I don't understand what's glorious about it. I really, really don't. But, and I don't, you're just not sexy to me personally. But if me saying I don't find you sexy shatters you, that's stupid. All right. First of all, you are making a statement that you're sexy on the internet, to not expect negative feedback about that, no matter who the fuck you are, is idiocy. The sexiest person on the planet could likely say, I think I'm sexy, and somebody would just call them arrogant and shitty and everything like that, and they prefer something different. Because it's the internet. Welcome to reality. It exists. Get there faster. You know? But to make a video like that, 
I just find it kind of ridiculous. Um, TikTok, make your day. Then we're going to do Mary Fran. Top videos. Oops, I can't do that because I'm not signed in on this one. But it's Mary Fran. So I will say that, by the way, she's got tons, and I mean tons and tons and tons of videos of people. And this is, by the way, this is the crying video. They got 1.8 million views that we talked about not too long ago, right? Um, oops, you guys can't see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is, you know, I just, this is the video. I don't know if I will ever. So she's responding back to some young fitness chick that said that, you know, we shouldn't be glorifying obesity. After, as in response to her, I'm 100% glorifying obesity. I, 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 we're going to do a, uh, we're going to do a video probably sometime this week based on that noise because that's a noise that, like it's a sound on the ticky talk of all sorts of people saying they're glorifying obesity there's not one that's glorious not one it's kind of fucking pathetic but so this is the one we talked about the other day where she's all upset fake crying how somebody could have so much hatred and anger for somebody they've never somebody, res somebody responded to your video after you said you were glorifying obesity I can't believe that you think that there's, that people weren't going to take that negatively. But watch this. Take take the time you need, but the internet needs you. She lasted like ten hours, by the way. She went to bed, woke up, and started making like she got what she wanted. She got all of you simps in the fucking comment section pumping her up and telling her how awesome she is. And then a bunch of people, uh, literally a bunch of people, made videos trying to trash this young woman for. Uh, for making videos about Mary Fran as if this woman is above reproach. Um, she's fat as fuck, said she's glorifying obesity. People are going to make videos about it. Just because she has the mentality of a fucking toddler does not mean that, that she should be above criticism. It just doesn't. It does not mean that she should be just above criticism. Uh, it's ridiculous and stupid. It just is. Um <clears throat> But take the time you need, but the internet needs you need your sunshine, baby. Really? Does it? Uh, filter out the words you can uh, imagine awful people will say and keep on shining. I won't shrink for you so powerful. There's nothing powerful about this woman, but possibly the odor. Um, what? I said it. Um, I'm going to take uh, some time to feel better with my safety on here. Your safety? Your safety? Your safety. It's words. It is fucking words. Your safety? Somebody said you're fat and we shouldn't be glorifying obesity because you said you glorify obesity and you think that that's about your safety? That's fucking disgusting. Like you're trying to you're trying to gaslight your audience into being so upset with this woman that like she threatened you. It's pathetic. You are a pathetic toddler of a person. But I under, part of it is I understand because look at these comments. We ride at dawn. I'm so sorry, Mary. So uh, so sorry. Sending so much love. Mary, friend, I love you so much. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. It's cruel and you don't deserve cruel. Sending you all the love and peace. I didn't see her video, but I saw yours. I also saw your personality, your optimism, your beautiful soul. Uh, you have a new follower. Keep, uh, keep being amazing. I won't shrink for you. Yes, this. You should shrink for you, Mary, friend. You should shrink so you're not in pain. You should shrink so you live a longer lifestyle. And all of you in the comments section that are Mary Fran's fans or friends or even the person that supposedly loves her for her body, you guys should be begging her to treat herself better. Begging her. You guys are the fucking actual villains. I mean, and people can say what they want about me. I will play the villain of our era because I say real shit about obesity and about the world around us and about the pandemic and all that stuff, I will gladly be painted as the villain. I do not give a shit because what people think of me is really none of my business. I will just keep saying what I think is true and backing up with stats and facts and statistics, right? But you should shrink for you because you are indeed fat as fuck by your own hand. You should stop listening to all these people telling you you're fine just the way you are. This is not fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. 
insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes in the future, if you don't have it already, tons of other health issues. This is not fine. You are not fine. Just the, the how you are sheerly emotionally distraught, up and down, manic and uh, manic and crying, half crying, half manic, pretending you think you're awesome, and then somebody shattering you by telling you you're not. Like, if you think you're so sexy and amazing and you're glorifying obesity, nobody should have been able to fucking shake you. This video should have never been made because you should just be like, eh. it shouldn't have been, been able to shake you, but it made you so upset that you're fucking sobbing and acting like you're not safe. That is a problem and your audience is making it so. Your audience is actually enabling this behavior, Mary Fran. You need to grasp reality because it exists. And you are going to, eventually reality is going to slap the fuck out of you. I just hope it's not with a double, you know, lower limb amputation. For real. I, I hope the best for this woman. I just came across your profile and seeing this broke my heart. Whoever did this to you, they are jealous and miserable with themselves. This person didn't even see what was said. <laughs> Protect your peace at all costs, then adjust, the, the, uh, then adjust that crown and be the queen you are. She is not a queen. She is not a queen. She's damn near a shut-in who can be who can be reduced to tears by somebody saying she's fat when she knows she says, she says she's fat. She thinks she just has a belly. She's in complete denial. She's like a toddler. She's not a queen. You guys are gaslighting her into thinking that she's awesome. Please know that I love your videos and you have inspired me to love myself and help me out of a deep depression. You did that, and that's awesome. That is awesome. But so you needed somebody else to lift you out of the deep depression? You yourself should be getting help. Uh, you are an amazing human being. Uh, please keep being unapologetically you. What makes her amazing? She talks about herself all the time. What makes her amazing? What does she do that is so amazing besides talk about herself? What makes her so amazing? I really want to know this. Because to me, she presents herself as a toddler. She needs our love and support. You have done so much for this community. I won't shrink for you is everything. Take some time and protect your energy. I'm sorry you endured this. You endured somebody making a comment, making comments about you? You endured somebody saying, no, I think you're fat and, not, and you should get healthy? You in, that's enduring? You know what else tells her she's fat and needs to get healthy? Gravity. Gravity tells her that every single step she takes, and she knows it. That's why she's in a lot of pain. You people are ridiculous. You have helped me, a complete stranger, exist with a lighter heart and a new perspective about my body. You know that uh, you know that you are being held and loved. If your perspective of your body came from her as anything except for a contrast, if you are fat as fuck as Mary Fran is, and you, she made you feel better about being fat as fuck, she is actually hurting you. This is actually a harmful mutual relationship. That's that's the reality of your situation too, uh, Camille. We need to make you our family now. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Your entire page is my dopamine. That's ridiculous. That's insanity. Uh, Mama Tot's official fan page. We need to show uh, her uh, out Mama Mama Tot family love. I love you, girl. We, like if you guys love this woman, if you guys loved her, you guys would be saying maybe you should lose some weight. I know this isn't like the, the, that. That isn't seen as the nice thing to do, but it's the realistic thing to do. Okay, the realistic thing to do is, hey, you know, what can we do to help you encourage you? If you guys loved her, the family, friends, and fans of Mary Fran, you guys would be like, hey, Mary Fran, we'll help hold you accountable uh, for your food. What can we encourage you to eat? Here's some recipes that you know that, that will help you get down. But no, most of you are unhealthy as fuck too, because most people are unhealthy as fuck, and you guys are just. Crabs in a barrel pulling each other's down, you know? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Somebody, she did not, like, nothing tragic happened to this woman. She made an online video. Somebody made a retort to it. And now, like, it's this is viewed 1.8 million times. And people are like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry that somebody said words. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? You weak ass pieces of shit. Like, are you kidding me? 
fucking ridiculous. And then keep looking here. Oh, oh uh, this is not that I ever doubted it because I knew without a doubt that I have people on here and in this space and in this corner of the internet that I've created. That I've created. She talks about herself nonstop. She's a narcissist. That love my sunshine and stuck around because. Listen to, listen to her breathing. Listen to her breathing. Not that I ever doubted it because I knew without a doubt that I have people on here and in this space and in this corner of the internet that I've created that love. Notice the knuckles. Of my sunshine and stuck around because they like what I had to say and they resonate with it. And that is why I was on here because I wanted to create a space for a person who was like me that five, 10 years ago, if I had seen someone like me in a space like this, I don't know what would have happened in regards to me looking at myself in a different light. And that's why. You need to look at yourself in the light of you actually do need to do something about this, Mary Fran. Like, let's, let's, let's be, let's, let, let's be realistic. Let's sit down and let's, let, like, let's think about this. What is your five year plan? Like, where do you think you're going to be in five years with your health? Before, like when, when you turn, 35, like how, how much more pain are you going to be in? Like if you stay this size, if you keep going, or if you keep even get bigger, when you turn 40, what's it going to feel like? Because these are realistic things you should be thinking about, right? How, like what, what is life going to be like for you? Her, to her audience, what do you think Mary Fran, the person you guys say you love so much, what do you think her life is going to be like five, 10 years from now? When all of you have moved on and you have found the next person to gaslight and you have found the next person to bullshit about, uh, about you know, their life, what do you think is going to happen to her, right? Like, what do you think is going to happen to her when you guys move on? Like, when shit's starting to get really, really, really bad, because it's already bad. She's obviously in some very serious pain. We just did a video about it. You know, we just saw her make a video about it. Like, what are you going to do years from now, Mary Fran? How do you think your life is going to be? What do you think your quality of life is going to be like? <clears throat> That's why I was on here. Yesterday, uh, it is not lost on me. The She got what she wanted. She wanted to get sympathy, wanted to get views. She wanted to get interaction. She got all of them. Tons of people making videos about this girl that she was trying to use that crying video to sick people on that woman. She really was. Humility that comes with the amount of... I, somebody find me a video where she doesn't talk directly about herself all the time. That's not about her. And again, the, I mean, in the, you know. Support and kindness and just fierce empathy that y'all have shown me in the past 72 hours. And I didn't want another second to go by before I said, thank you. Thank you for falling for it. Thank you for giving the toddler the, what she wanted from her temper tantrum. That's what she's saying. So, the comments, again, thank you for being such a kind and loving human being. What a beautiful response. You are such a special person. You are an amazing person. Pretty magical yourself. You are the best. You're such a beam of light in a world of darkness because you bring out so much light and love in people's lives. You know, the mutual gaslighting is just kind of fucking ridiculous. It just is. Hang on a second. I'll get to you guys. Uh, do they spike insulin? Do, does what spike insulin? Um, I'm at a healthy BMI, but my waist to height ratio is 0.53. My belly looks big and round. What do I do? Thanks. I would try to minimize processed carbohydrates, minimize processed sugar, get some healthy activity, um, and, uh, maybe do a little strength training and stuff like that and keep at it. Eating the caloric deficit. That means, cause if you are at a healthy BMI, that means you are still like, but you're by waist to height ratio. That means you have a bunch of visceral fat in your stomach. So, um, we do have coaching again, just letting you know.
Uh, and here, here are the three and six months coaching options. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay. And uh, when basically 90% of health issues are from lifestyle, then yes, you are the problem. You have to fix it. Hunter, exactly. Hunter, NDP, thank you. And thank you all very much for the, for the tips. I appreciate it. And then we'll do a little Q&A, and then I'm going to get the fuck out of here because me and Chris are going to spend the day. Anyway, uh, why do you judge her? You are not perfect. I never claim to be. Um, <laughs> she's going to live her life and have fun. She's not having much fun. She's not. She's making money from TikTok. She sounds like she's breathing soup. Why, why, are you, why, why does that not concern you? You know, and I'll judge whoever the fuck I want. Other people can judge me however the fuck they want. I don't care. See, that's the thing. I don't care. Judge me. You know. Marla, would you like to come on live with me? Just let me know, Marla. Because uh, you, can, you can talk to me face to face. So. 15 years ago, I thought like her. Uh, I'm so glad I made my changes in life when I did. I went from 360 pounds down to 180 pounds and kept it off. So, so everybody congratulate this woman. That is out goddamn standing. Holy shit. Everybody, KT Bear 21, that is awesome. That is a fucking win. That is a win win. Hell yeah. And uh, why didn't she follow Suzanne Powers years ago and countless other female fitness people? Because they they were made they made those women look stupid, whorish, and they made them look like they like they were insignificant, and then people just got fat as fuck, and then they all of a sudden started saying, like, oh no, Tess Holiday's fine. She's healthy and fit at 300 pounds. She'll be in a wheelchair bed bound, probably 10 years. Seriously, unless she changes, being constantly gaslit and, and thinking that there's nothing wrong when there is very seriously issues is very unhealthy. Her audience is going to fucking kill her. Depends if you have comorb comorbidities or severe bone breaks uh, kick in first. Very true. If she's 29, she will not see 40, let alone retirement from teaching. Sadly, she will probably traumatize children uh, in the classroom when she passes. Very possible. Very, very possible. Her quality of life will be the same as Alexandra Rodriguez. Lies, lies, and more lies. Again, right? How do people even get that big? What's their diet look like? I would, I would bet she probably, I mean, she sounds like she's pretty sedentary. Like, like you know, from what she even describes. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming uh, probably somewhere around, you know, 3,500, 3,000 to 3,500 calories a day, every single day for a long fucking time. There's some insulin resistance in there too and everything like that. So it definitely depends on the, the types of food she's eating. Uh, but you don't get that big, even with insulin resistance without, you know, uh, eating ultra processed carbohydrates, ultra processed foods to a high degree and eating ultra processed foods for as long as she's likely eating them also has cognitive and executive function decline, uh, decline, not benefits, but uh, uh, consequences. I bet that video doesn't exist. No, it exists. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, the video about her not talking about somebody else. I, I, I saw it. Yeah. And the gaslighting because that's all they have. Exactly. Alan, sort of off topic, I watched one of your uh, watch one of your what I eat in a day videos. What vitamins do you recommend? I'm a 50 year old woman. This is the best vitamin pack on the on the market because it's like it's a multivitamin. It has probiotic blend, the green balance in it. It has uh, liver detox and uh, joint elixir, cardiovascular support, salmon oil. It's the best on the market. Immortal from uh, oh, you know what? And by the way, hang on a second. You can get it right now. Let me see here. I got to pull this up. Yeah, there it is. All right. You can get this right now. And because Tiger Fitness is running an amazing sale, Labor Day uh, sale, 15% off top brands. Free T-shirt, uh, Tiger Fitness T-shirt for orders over seventy-five dollars. Free Tiger Fitness shorts for orders over one hundred forty-nine dollars, um, and double rewards points. Uh, it's amazing, uh, great, great, great deal. Um, I'll be pumping this again tomorrow, obviously, uh, for Mark. Uh, but that's a fucking great deal. And Immortal is in stock, and it's like so. It's thirty dollars a month normally, so which is amazing for for basically five supplements in one. 
it's amazing. But 15% off then puts it at like, you know, $25. So you should, you should check that out. Um, uh, people who are supportive, uh, who are supporting someone like, like Mary Fran are probably doing so because they are also obese as fuck. Yes. And it makes them feel better about themselves. Uh, and then like they get the, they get the societal virtue signaling points. Like I said something nice, like it's, it's not really that nice. Like I say it all the time. I even have videos on it. Like, I. You know, people ask me why I'm so mean. There is nothing meaner than looking at an obese person in the face and saying you're awesome just the way you are. There's nothing meaner than that. That's tragically mean. Tragically mean. Uh, she put herself on the internet. She's game for judgment. Everybody is. But judge me all the fuck you want. People do all the time. Uh, nobody with 300 pounds is having fun. Nobody. Nope. Uh, she's not having uh, having fun for long. Exactly. Uh, I guess the trolls can't take uh, can't handle the truth. Gluttony, greed, and sloth are sins, and she uh, has all of that in spades. I agree. That's I agree, but I don't agree. I mean, I'm atheist, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, what do you think about uh, what do you think about uh, my eating today? Healthy. I ate eggs with green peppers uh, for breakfast. Going to eat a sandwich and some oranges and an apple for lunch, uh, and for dinner, pork chops, corn, and potatoes. Just I think it's okay. I would I would eliminate it depends on what uh, type of sandwich you're having because sandwich can mean a whole fucking lot of shit. Um, but I would not eat the, I would try to do the pork chop, corn and potato, or I would actually do the pork chop and corn for lunch and then just do the sandwich at, at night. That way, if you are having processed carbohydrates because of the bread and sandwich, you'd have that in the evening, but it sounds okay. Depends on how fat you are. Depends on how ac active you are. Depends on the portion sizes, depends on all sorts of shit. You know, because while that's decently healthy with minimal, it does seem you have like have minimal processed carbohydrates in it or processed food in it. It could be, it depends on what type of sandwich. If you get a foot long sub, that's, that's, that's a lot of bread, you know. Uh, why do so many big talkers don't want to put uh, their face to words? Because they're fucking cowards. That's what it is, you know. Uh, funny how these keyboard warriors get so shy when Alan call, calls on them. They defend their, their I mean, it's, it's and for real, if she wanted to come on, she could come on, or he or she, or whoever. I mean, who knows? But uh, they just want to spout shit, you know? Mary Fran could come on here. I'd fucking tell her to her face, you're fat. You need to change your lifestyle. Uh, I, that's the kindest thing I can say to you. You know, maybe cut out cut out the processed carbohydrates that I guarantee you she eats. She's very clearly, uh, you, know, uh, you know, not big on um, personal accountability. Um, and she is very clear on chasing the dopamine, as she even says. So she chases that stuff. That means she eats a lot of sugar to me. Uh, that, and you can tell by her, you know, she's obviously got some serious inflammation going on, like just how she breathes. You can hear that. Um, could be, I mean, the way she's breathing, like how bad that is, that could be congestive heart failure starting. I'm not a doctor, but I do know some shit. Uh, and also, I mean, you can see in her, like the darkness in her knuckles and the ring around her neck, there's, there's some definite, I mean, she's insulin and she's has insulin sensitivity issues anyway, because she does have PCOS, which she should be very fucking strict about. But I guarantee you there's uh, there's, there's, there's some sugar being eaten. So people who go after Alan are just triggered. Uh, it's, it's say, uh, everything about their character. Thanks for letting us know who you truly are. I'm serious. Like they can, they can come on. They can come on. It's all good. I'd have a conversation. The irony is the more, uh, the more money she makes on TikTok, the more cash is poured into her food addiction. She gets, uh, so she gets bigger and treated worse. Yep. It's how it works. They shouldn't, that, yep. uh, Tess is already depressed. Her videos lately are just like, bad like bad um test seems test seems like uh reality is kind of jumping up and slapping her a little bit so uh she's not even 30 but has been morbidly obese since she was five according to her uh, another uh fat activist just like her uh sick and tired of weighing died at 28 years old in january yep exactly uh everybody thanks for appreciated truly uh truly rewarding has been and will always be on my health. Uh, I'm about to turn 40 and feel better than I did when I was 20. That's awesome. And 180 pounds. Like, congratulations, for real. Like, that's not an easy feat. I lost 100 pounds myself. That was, it was not the easiest thing. Keeping it off, keeping it off is the actual hard part. People don't understand that. I think people, that, that's one of the things we help with our coaching, by the way. Because uh, we help you change your lifestyle. We help you adjust your lifestyle and, and build habits that will help you keep it off. Because losing weight, everybody's lost weight. You can follow a diet and lose weight. Diets work. Uh, people just go off the diet. <laughs> if the, the diets work, you lose weight, but then people go off of it. And that's the issue. You know, 
I used to be 325, ate Sonic and Taco Bell every day for two years straight. My life was miserable. I'm 260 now with 60 to go, and I'm already feeling better with life. Space Shuttle Door Gunner Man, that's awesome. Congre that's awesome. Self-accountability and knowing that the, the road's not over. And then again, make sure you start planning for what it's going to be like to keep that weight off. But great fucking job. Everybody congratulate him. Everybody. Uh, Gretchen Ann. Uh, I would not want to uh, want a TikTok person teaching my kids. She's not mature enough to handle it. She's does the the level of maturity is very 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 low. So, uh, Bay Ray's day. Uh, I bet she didn't get more than four thousand steps a day, and that's generous. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, fully agree that Immortal is absolutely the best multivitamin ever. I have two bags stocked. I, I mean, it's. I noticed the difference. Like my nails are, you know, um, uh, my nails are even stronger. You know. Alan, processed carbs are unhealthy. What about trans fats? Is it true that one can't burn them off once they get stored in the body? Um, you, you can burn off any fat. Your body's not going to just hold on to fat. But I don't know who told you that you can't lose fat from your body, like especially trans fat once they get stored in the body. That sounds, I, I would love to see the actual study on that. But processed carbs are very unhealthy. Uh, processed carbs are very, very, very unhealthy. They're highly inflammatory. They're highly addictive. Um, and they are basically nutrients- uh, sparse. All they have is uh, quick energy that causes a dopamine spike, insulin spike, those sorts of things. So yes, of course they're unhealthy. Um, here's the sad truth, and you shouldn't. Have, you should, I'm not saying you should have trans fats either. I mean, by any stretch of the imagination. But, uh, here's the sad truth. I lost two friends this year who were morbidly obese, both in their mid 50s, both gone from their choices and not uh, and not changing lifestyles. Yep. And it's once people get into the 50s and morbidly obese, they just start dropping. Dropping, dropping. It, it, it didn't used to be that way because people used to get obese when, when they were in their 50s. When they were late 40s and 50s, as they got older, they got obese. But people have been obese now since they were like, you know, 15, 10, 15, 20 years old. They hit 50 years old. They've been obese for 30, 35, 40 years. Done. Uh, I saw a fat as fuck gentleman on YouTube claim that he got uh, got a whole thousand steps in a day and was proud of it. Well, I mean, if it's better than zero if he was doing zero before. But I mean, wow. Uh, stop spiking your glucose levels and blowing out your pancreas and insulin resistance will heal. Yep. Purple lily. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's also what another thing that alchemy helps with, by the way. Uh, alchemy does have an amazing, amazing, several ingredients help with insulin sensitivity, glucose regulation. So you don't spike your insulin levels. It helps with the glycemic response of food. You can get that right now at uh, the Ambrosia Collective. As a matter of fact, you can get that and the uh, alchemy and no morbidity together as the Holy Trinity bundle. And that is an amazing deal. It reduces the price uh, for the three of them together. It cuts like $20 off the price. Um, so please do check that out. Uh, I called her out early. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you don't tell kids uh, they can fly if they really believe uh, enough to jump off a chair and wearing a cape. Yep. You say stop. That's a platinum lemur. Exactly. 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 Do you know if the Ambrosia site will, uh, will be doing a Labor Day sale? I do not, to tell you the truth. I don't know. They, possibly, though. If they do, I will be all over it. So Here's the coaching links, by the way. We have a few slots available. Please do check those out. We'll be running a, a deal tomorrow, too. So everybody check those out. Um, it's the lifestyle change that makes lifelong changes for the better. Absolutely, 100%. That's what we do in our coaching. We adjust your lifestyle bit by bit by bit to a healthier one. Mindful habits. I can't wait for my alchemy to arrive on Tuesday. Betsy, that's awesome. Hey, by the way, if you guys want to join the app and join my wife's challenge, okay? My, uh, We've got about 50 or 60 people that are already on the app, so uh, and she's already taken care of it. But I wanted to tell people that right here, first of all, you can get a 30-minute consultation from either Crystal or I and get on the app for free. Well, not app for free, but you can get the, be on the app for a month with the 30-minute consultation, right? But you can also join this challenge, or if you just join the app, $9.99, my wife is doing a challenge where you will get daily notifications on healthy habits customized to you every single day for the entire month of September. The idea is, is we wanted to see if we could help people who may not need the one-on-one -on -one attention, but need just a little bit of help building habits to build habits, like to build healthier habits. So right there, right here is, uh, oh, no, that's alchemy. Sorry. Right here is the link for the 30-minute consultation with either Crystal or myself. It doesn't need to be with me. If I'm not your cup of tea, I completely understand. 
But you can also join the live or pre-recorded classes. Hang on a second. I need to adjust this. There you go. Uh, you can join the live and pre-recorded classes uh, and also join her challenge. It starts on the 5th, I believe. It starts in two days. So if you join today, she can get you started up on this challenge. And we're probably going to be doing one every single month. This is the first one we're doing. And then uh, October will be a challenge. There's a December challenge, all those things. So please do check those out. That's something new she's doing. I'm super impressed with her. Uh, putting this, I'm impressed with her all the time because she's just one, sexy and gorgeous as fuck. Two, intelligent and fucking crazy amazing. But three, she cares so much that she did this because we wanted to make sure that not just the people that get one-on-one -on -one attention because our coaching is private conversation, one-on-one -on -one, uh, daily communication, weekly video conferences. This is... You know, in the app, the app will guide you through healthy habits and activities uh, such as hydration and the individualized activity that she individualizes that for each individual, each person. So join the, uh, if you join the app today, it will be, uh, uh, it will be, you can join up at this challenge starting up on the day after tomorrow. So. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ordered the bundle, got it yesterday, can't wait to try. K, uh, K Travels, let me know how you like it. And again, I told you about how I how I take it. Half tablet of Ember with my Immortal first thing in the morning, half tablet of Ember uh, and uh, my first dose of Alchemy about a half hour before my midday workout. And then I normally take another half, uh, or I, I take my second dose of Alchemy and no morbidity right before my evening meal. And then between there, there's uh, electrolytes and some green supplements and stuff like that. It has worked out amazing, tons and tons and Tons of energy, but also just uh, I can just feel the body fat just melting off me, just like literally melting off me. It's amazing. So, Rebecca, hey, Alan, is there a release date yet for Tiger Fitness in terms of alchemy? I don't know. I don't know. I will have to get a hold of Mark. I will let you know if it's going to be uh, if, if, if it's going to be up tomorrow. Let me let me check first, just to make sure. No, nope, it's not there yet. But I will let you guys know. Uh, that reminds me, I need an up, uh, to update my bank card uh, on the app. Uh, I lost my card. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, sounds like a great deal. It, I mean, I'm super impressed with the challenges. I'm super, super impressed with, with, with what she's put together. Uh, the idea is, is to help as many people as humanly possible. Very impressed. Hi, Alan. How long did it take you to mentally adjust to smaller portions uh, on Alchemy? Uh, if I keep moving food from my plate to my hubs, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll need mo no mo. Um, I started doing this thing, uh, and I, I, we have clients do this. It's a little exercise we have clients do. But I eat 75% of whatever's on my plate, uh, the portion size I normally got me. I drink 20 ounces of water, wait 20 minutes, and then see if I'm still hungry, uh, and then eat. It builds a good habit of slowing down your food anyway. A lot of people with ADHD, but a lot of people with binge eating disorder especially eat very, very, very fast. And I'm one of them. I eat very, very fast. So it helps me slow down my eating. But it took it took an adjustment of about, you know, a decent while. The weird thing now is my activity level has gone up so much because we have the training going on for Real Weights, Real Heroes and stuff like that, that uh, I'm actually having to, like, be more concerned about making sure I get enough protein, get enough calories. Like, right now, like, yesterday – if I wouldn't have eaten a ham at night, like I forced myself to eat like you know, three or four slices of ham. Uh, if I wouldn't have eaten that, it would have, it would have not been good. Like, I mean, I would, have, I would have probably been at like 60 grams of protein for the day. You know, like it's, I mean, and still it was a little low. Like today is going to be much different. I'm going to make sure I have a steak and stuff like that too at some point in time today. And I think tonight we are doing, tonight we have uh, pork with onions and stuff like that too. Here's the consultation and the pre-recorded classes. I'm telling you, join the app, join the challenge. Crystal will guide you through uh, the habits. It's amazing. So if Mark does a Halloween sale, I'll definitely be all over Tiger Fitness and Shop. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, and to say here, it's not that you fall off the horse. It's, it's that you get back on. Perseverance got me to lose 40 pounds so far and maintain. Much more to go, but keep going. That's excellent advice, Delta. Thank you very much. I will also say this. Don't think of it so much as falling off the horse. Like, if you have a holiday coming up, plan on the indulgence. Like, you know, if you have a party to go to or a birthday party to go to, 
Fill up on protein, healthy fats early in the day. Make sure you're plenty satiated, satisfied. Enjoy the piece of cake. And then make sure you know where your next meal comes from the next day. Make sure you know that you have you know, eggs and you know uh, eggs and steak in the morning or something like that. Another protein, healthy fat, all meal, just to crush down any uh, any cravings. Alchemy will help you avoid the sugar, the sugar spike cravings and the sugar spikes just from the cake and stuff like that anyway. Uh, it'll help minimize that to a tremendous degree. But uh, you can also just make sure that like you're getting plenty of like hydration should always stay right there. Anyway, I got to stop catching the tail under your lives. I hear you, man. I'm about to get off of here, but I, I, I want, I definitely wanted to give the person that like wanted to talk shit. I wanted to give them an opportunity to talk more shit and come on live with me. Uh, crazy. And by the way, uh, Mary Fran, if you see this, I'd gladly talk to you live anytime, but I, she doesn't seem like she's that type of person. So. Um, the fattest fuck gentleman who bragged about 1,000 steps is a crew is a cruise reviewer who breathes heavily walking. To, oh, I, I've seen him. I've seen him. I've seen him. We're going to talk about him probably this week. I ordered no morbidity and three uh, and three alchemy on the release date. I'm so excited. I hope to get a Tuesday. Tara, let me know how it goes. Please do check in. I can't wait to uh, hear your results on it. I eat extremely fast too. I serve myself less. Just always eat uh, eat more later if I'm still hungry. Very very good. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, we uh, we just visited family. I packed a cooler with ground beef and boiled eggs. I ate one meal with the family, had a little dessert, and now I'm back on plan. Bam! That's outstanding, Dita. That is outstanding. Great goddamn job. Great goddamn job. And yep, uh, plan early for get-togethers. Set uh, uh, setbacks can happen. They are normal. It's not. Then that's my thing. Plan for the indulgence. The holidays are coming. It's one of the things we do with our coaching, by the way. We help people prepare for the holiday season. Gluttony season is upon us. Gluttony season starts basically on Labor Day, which is tomorrow. And one of the things we do with our coaching is we do help people prepare for the holidays and get through the holidays. So you get through the holidays without gaining weight. Most people normally gain 10 pounds to 15 pounds and then lose five to 10 of it. And they gain five, 10 pounds a year, right? This way, if you maintain that normal five to 10 pounds a year, you lose just ambiently, that will keep your weight at a healthy, healthy level. So... Uh, there is no rest day for 10,000 steps a day. Absolutely. I completely agree. Nope, I have used chopsticks before, uh, but, I, but I've but i seen Asian people eat with them. I use chopsticks fairly often, too. I hope everyone has a wonderful day tomorrow. Me, too. I will be live. And <clears throat> a friend told you to skip breakfast. If I mean, if you're fat, why do you need breakfast? You've already got enough energy. Breakfast. Break, first of all, breakfast means break fast. Any, the first food you get is your break, your breakfast. But, I mean... Again, when people throw stuff like this out, I don't know. I don't understand what you think you're going to get from me because there's so much more involved. Like how much do you eat at breakfast? How much do you eat the rest of the, like the rest of the day? How much do you eat the rest of the time? Like there's so much more involved. They could be giving you good advice. They could be giving you bad advice. Are you even fat? If you're not fat, why fucking, it sounds to me like you're pretty regulated. Why fucking fuck with shit if it ain't fucking broken? You know, so. Uh, I'm late to the game uh, today. Just curious. Have you heard about the person who had to be literally cut from the plane seat that got stuck? Yeah, that's sad. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Uh, decorate for gluttony season with empty Noma bottles. I hear you. I got an empty bottle right over here. Um, and let's see. I ordered, uh, I just ordered alchemy yesterday. Outstanding Sally Mac. And listen, everybody, I do got to run. Thank you all very much. Um, oh, uh, I do, I do got to run. So let me know how everything's going here, folks. I appreciate all of you very, very, very much. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day.